Hello guys, hello. One thing I changed, I changed Pidgeot's stats a bit. I gave it, you know, max speed, max special attack and some HP. It was a little bit more bulkier before, but I thought, you know what, uh, I think I'm gonna forego some of the bulk and go just straight damage since Brandon is pretty much our only special attacker. Um, I mean, yeah, sure, we do have Xembo, but, you know, I'm not expecting Xembo to actually, you know, uh, what's it called? Sweep. It's more of a physical defensive wall. And what else? I don't think... But yeah, I gave Duplin Cross Poison. So, yeah. Instead of Ice Punch, I thought, you know what? I think Cross Poison might be uh, useful, we'll see. Um, yeah, but other than that... Oh yeah, I pre-burned Victor David with the Life Orb. And I do feel like... I don't remember who the first one is. Let's see. Okay, I'll confirm my badges. Okay, yes, you are dark. So, when it comes to these things right here, I think I'm gonna give... I'm, not, I'm only gonna go into the battle with one... Mega, and I think with right here, I feel like I would prioritize uh, Mega Lazul. I think is my priority right here. Uh, so for look up Brandon. There we go. Almost forgot. I think we're gonna go for. Uh, Expert belt could be good. Uh, let's see. Do I have a fighting gem? Uh, now when I look at this. A fighting gem could be good just to make a super, super strong... Uh, no, we don't have any fighting gems. Damn. I should have prepared for that. Oh well. We'll just go for the... Oh god, the expert belt. And my question is, who do I want to start off with? Uh, because I'm thinking that he's probably going to start off with something that he can deal with fighting types. Um, so maybe Honchcrow would be like a dark, because it's dark flying. Um, so for some reason I feel like he's going to start off with a Honchcrow. So I do think Alteria um, Lazul is the right option. So I'm just gonna save it so that I'm stuck here. And let's go. I like that look you're giving me. I guess you'll give me a good match. That's good, looking real good. All right, you and me, let's enjoy a battle that can only be staged here in the Pokemon League. And I'm listening to some Latte, Latte, Lotte ASMR. Tyranitar, okay. Hmm. I was not expecting that, okay. Hmm. Well, we obviously want to Mega Evolve and Cotton Guard, I think. Uh, because, I mean, what is he gonna use? Stone Edge, Crunch, okay, use Stone Edge. The Sand is gonna be a bit annoying, but. I actually think this is pretty good. Uh, let's see. Okay, you have Stealth Rock. That's fine. I mean, as long as we do not get critted, I think we got this. Okay, and I'm going to heal here. I'm not gonna risk. I 
Because he only has five stone engines. Or maybe he has max PP as well. Uh, go for another dragon dance. <coughs> and also we're, you know, getting rid of some of his sandstorm turns as well. Okay, so this actually worked out pretty well. Uh, we've used three. Let's use... You know what? Let's use six. Why not? Okay, now he's using crunch, which tells me that he no longer has stone edges. So I'm not worried at all, even if he crits. Okay. So you know what? This seems it's gonna go pretty well here. The first turn. Yeah, my camera works now. I have not done anything, so... I guess I just needed to restart my computer for the camera to work. But it didn't work for two days in a row. So I don't know. And I did restart that. So, several times even. Uh, but yeah, it worked now magically. Okay, let's see. We've used... Five, right? Yes. Uh, you know, let's go for another cutting guard. In case, um, yeah, obviously he's gonna have a bishar. I think that is pretty obvious. Okay, defense drop. That's fine. We were plus six. Now we're plus five. Now we're gonna body slam to victory. I don't think we need plus six. I think plus five is fine. Maybe even plus five is too much. We could have probably gone plus four. Ah, Greninja. Okay. So maybe it's good we went plus five. Because maybe if that was a Greninja with Choice Scarf, he might still have been faster than us. Since I don't think I'm running any speed. Let's see. Oh yeah, no, I am. I'm running full HP, some special defense, and some speed. Okay. Alright, so switch in Drapion just to switch it out. I wonder why. What was the plan right there? <laughs> what? What? What is he doing? Maybe he knows. Like uh, I'm, I'm screwed. But I don't get it. Is he just trying to wait for the sandstorm to do more damage to me, or? Yeah, because, I mean, what happens now? Cacturn dies. So if he wouldn't have done that switch, he would have still been able to hit me, you know? He would have taken Focus Sash and then maybe done like a Poison Jab or something. That is so weird, okay. Well, what, Sydney? You were just as easy here. As you are in the normal games when you fight you when you know when you fight him. As long as you have like a got a fighting type attack in the normal games, he's no problem. And I guess it wouldn't be a problem here as well. Since what do does what does he have? That would really take a fighting type attack. Uh, let's see. You are ghost. Which I don't think Mega Evolving U would be useful here. I think in this case, I think Brandon is who we want to Mega Evolve. Oh god, I don't like that day. Yeah. Oh. Pidgeotite, there we go. And we're gonna give you...
Oh wait, I have to give you... Yes, because if I don't give you the... Altariite, you won't be able to hit them. Yeah, because they're old ghosts. Yeah, so you need... The Altariite to even be able to hit. And an expert belt is not gonna be useful. Um, so, let's see. Oh, we have a fighting gem. What am I talking about? Okay, I must have completely missed it. But let's give you a flying gem. Okay. I mean, now when I think about it, I don't really have anything. Well, I do have Balalu, actually. I take that back. We have Balalu here. Who... Hmm. Do I wanna have assault vest or do I wanna? Because I'm pretty sure I have a choice scarf. I'm gonna check to see. I hear a choice scarf, right? Yes. I feel like maybe giving Balalu choice scarf is the better thing right here, so that Balalu is faster than everything. And then we're just gonna spam Spirit Shackle. I think that is my plan. Because I don't think they will be able to one-shot me. Even... Okay, start off with Cathagragus. Let's see how my Spirit Shackle does. Alright, that's good. Ah, okay, red card. You know what, that's actually fine. That is actually completely fine. Maybe even good. Uh, let's just get a weather ball off. Oh wait. Okay. I don't know if Cofagoras is ghost stealing this. I think that means it isn't. Or it's water neutral. I'm not sure, but you probably have Thunder Punch. Yeah, Thunder Punch. I do think I want you alive. Um, I mean, I think Lazul is actually the father right here, so I think we can sacrifice Lazul, depending on how well Lazul takes his Thunder Punch. Otherwise, we can try and get... You know what? Let's try and do another sweep. Why not? Mega. And then Cotton Guard. Well, you probably have Ice Punch as well? Alright, you have probably have all the Elemental Punches, and that's a crit. Okay. Oh well. That's actually fine, I wasn't really expecting Lazoo to really do that much. I think sending him to Pleen is good. Send him to Pleen. And yeah, he's gonna use Shadow Punch, which is gonna be super effective, but I'm gonna assume that we survive. We didn't. Jesus Christ, okay. Holy shit, Shellbell healed a lot. Have they switched? Okay. That tells me they've changed how Shellbell works. The Shellbell probably heals you a percentage of the damage you do. So it's probably a buff to Shellbell. That's good. Chandelure. I mean, realistically, what is you, what is Chandler going to do? If he do, if he uses a fire type attack, Balalu would survive still. But yeah, he goes Shadow Ball. I was expecting a ghost, and maybe this is Scarf. Okay, yeah, it is Scarfed, so they they're going to switch. Now we're getting a strong fly, in attack. Nice. Can assume that Brandon is faster? Okay, good. Nice! You know what? Things are going very, very well. I think Cofagrigus having that red card actually helped us a lot. Okay, you're gonna use Thunderbolt, I think. Yeah, and we're gonna send in Balalu against that. Oh! 
Alright, she predicted me. Oh, Lazu would have been good against this, against Sableye. Well, Brandon. Oh, wait. It's probably gonna use knockoff, right? Dark Pulse, yeah. Okay, this actually didn't do that much. I was actually expecting a lot, lot more. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, just hurricane. Nice, nice. Wait, how did Victor David level up? Wait. Did I accidentally give Victor David... Oh, you have life orb. Wait, do all my Pokemon get experience? Oh yeah, they do, right? They just get 25% of total experience. God. Like, Jesus Christ. My brain. Yeah, and she switches as well. So they're trying to do like that double switch, I guess. Now, but that's a good crit. And I mean, we're not switching and doing anything. We're just... Oh wait, heat waves. I mean, what are you gonna do? Like a... Steel attack, right? So Xembo would probably be good against you. Yeah, flash cannon. Eh. And I'm expecting him to use King's Shield now. Yeah. Let's us heal. And just weather ball. Let's see. Yeah, steel does not resist water. Oh man, that shed will live a lot. Hmm. But if you're gonna use shed ball again, Brandon, you're up. Yeah, there we go, nice. Now, how nice is it really? I mean let's roost. Because my... I do think a hurricane is stronger, even though it's not very effective. It is raining. Oh, and we got a crit, so... Didn't matter. Here comes Chandelure, and you're gonna be forced to use a electric type attack, right? Yeah, we're just gonna use hurricane. I mean... Or Psychic, okay. So maybe it just doesn't have Electric type. Or maybe it's like, okay, it's my last Pokemon. It can only use one move. So I'm gonna lock myself into Psychic. Because I assume it probably had like Fire Blast or Flamethrower. Um, Shadow Ball. I was thinking Thunderbolt, but maybe not. Uh, Hex, maybe. Maybe Hex. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure, but... Yeah, you know what, guys? We all did very well there. We haven't had to use Victor David so far. So... Victor David has been pretty, you know... It's been a relaxing Elite Four experience for you. Okay, who's the next one? Ice. Alright, let's see. I mean, I guess the ice one, obviously, Balalu would be okay, I think. Because of, you know, Leaf Blade and Jump Kick. It's gonna be super effective against a lot. And in this case, I do think that I'm going to prioritize Mega Brandon. Even though if I have Mega Lazul, you know, it's not going to be four times effective, but 
I kind of like, eh. I'm gonna give Lanzul uh, that berry. Let's see. There, Yachi berry. And then my plan here is that we're gonna get Yachi berry, so it's just so it's just super effective against a double. Then maybe we can get like a revenge kill with a body slam on something. And potentially maybe, you know, paralyze. That is the plan. Uh, I don't know who I want to start off with. I mean, I'm expecting she's gonna start off with something that's gonna set up hail. So maybe if I start up Xembo, Xembo is slower than whatever she set up, than whatever she starts with. That would be really, really good. But if it isn't slower, then well, that's not good. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna do it anyways. Let's start off with Xembo. Is it leftovers, assault vest, yachi, weakness policy. I mean, I guess if they have like freeze dry, sure. Yeah, I think that's still good. Yeah, go all out against me. Glacia. Oh, uh, yeah. Alright, yeah, so we are slower. Okay, good. Let's just protect to see what are you gonna do. Leaf Storm, okay. Lazulian, just a, as like a pivot Pokemon. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. So Lazul is probably gonna be just a sponge right here. So its special attack fell harshly. Down probably means that he's gonna go for a ice type attack, obviously. And now we're gonna send in Xembo for that. Oh, or the switch. Alright, that's fine. I think Glalie is part rock. I think, I'm not sure. I think it's like, yeah, it's ice rock. So, there we go, good job. Here comes Frostlass. Do you have Thunder or something? Let's see. Freeze Try, yeah. Of course, Freeze Try is four times effective against you, so. I mean, if Duplin is faster, then switching into Duplin there would be good. You know what? We're gonna, I'm gonna hope that Duplin is faster than Frostlass. Okay, good. Weakness policy. And if Duplin is faster, we're gonna slaughter... No, okay. Should've gone for Aqua Jet. Just to get some damage in. The reason why I want to go for Liquidation is because, well, Liquidation would kill. Uh, so Balalu, you're up. Your spare chuckle. <coughs> Glacian, just jump kick it. 
Ah, well, that was unlucky. He hit Blizzard, even through rain. Oh, how about his life orb? Well, that tells me we can just go for a Leaf Blade. Ah, I should have gone for Shadow Snake now when I think about it, because what if they have Ice Shard? Yeah, I mean, this is obviously Ice Shard. It's probably sl What? I, I know it can have Thick Fat, but what is its other ability, other than Thick Fat? Is it Slush Rush? Slush something? And the thing that makes it that it boosts your speed in Hail. I don't know. Ah, damn it, we flinched. It's gonna be one of those games that are gonna flinch us to death. <coughs> oh my god, again. Okay, so two out of two flinches, of course. I think Roost is the smarter option right here. Yeah. It, it ends up with us gaining more HP. Oh, did I mean to use Roost? I meant to use Protect. Ah, but that's fine. We're full HP now. And then Weather Ball. And let's get flinched. Oh, no, we didn't. Okay. So, two out of five. Not too bad. And let's protect. <coughs> and just weather ball. So Glacia, I think so far you may, might have been the biggest problem. No, I think the ghost one was t a bit tougher, right? Yeah. Uh, let's protect. Leaf Storm, okay. So you are set on using Leaf Storm, that's good to know. We can switch to Lazul. Um, just body slam, yeah, because they seem to be like they they're gonna switch after the the leaf storm. Oh, ice body, all right. Do you have blizzard? I'm gonna sue. Mm, maybe this isn't the best thing to do. Okay, no, we just protect. Okay, good. We're just gonna scout. Toxic. I don't mind talk being toxic, so that's actually completely fine. You know, so just hurricane. So, okay, super fang. Protect. Toxic. Probably a healing move. Okay, so this is a Toxic Staller. So if we could get some, you know, like... A Toxic on it, then that would be good. Toxic? I can give that to... Uh, Duplin, maybe. Hurricane. I think just spamming Hurricane is the right thing to do. Alright, I mean, you're gonna just protect now, which means we can get the Lalu in. Hmm. 
And then Balala just leaf played. So yeah, that is would be pretty annoying otherwise, you know, like the ice body, the heals, plus the leftovers, the protect, the toxic, super fang. Maybe it has Whirlpool as well, just to trap you and do even more just residual damage. I wonder what its last move is. Yeah, and I mean here, I don't care, just jump kick. Setting Sembo. Okay, so I'm guessing maybe this Obama Snow is scarfed. And that's why it's... Maybe that's why it was faster. Yeah, I mean, number three of the Elite Four right there. I mean, so far we've only had to use five of our Pokémon. Uh, with poor Duplin uh, not being able to do that much so far. Uh, let's see. Maybe I'll give Duplin the choice scarf here. Just give it extra speed and we'll see how that works. Uh, we obviously against Drake we want Mega Lazul. Yeah, because Drake is the only Elite Four member that I like. I know I remember the name of. Which kind of tells me that the Elite Four members here in Generation 3 were pretty forgettable. Like, I would say it's a weak. Uh, it's a weak. What would you call it, say? God, I'm trying to think of the right... It's a weak... Quadruplet? No, it's a weak, just Elite Four. When it comes to remembering them. And they're pretty weak. They're battle items. We're gonna get another flying gem. Let's see, where is it? Okay, giving everyone some Lumberries. Just gonna double check to see that I... I mean, okay, three common guards, that's fine. Okay, there we go. And now it's you, and... Um... Maybe I'll just start off with Altaria. And, like, that might be... The best option, just start off with Altaria. Uh, because, I mean, if I can just keep Victor David burnt until the last battle, that would be good. Uh, so I don't really want to start off with Victor David. Xembo would probably also be a good start, just to scout. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. We're gonna start off with Xembo. And starting off with Xembo also makes it so that, you know, Duplin becomes a little bit stronger if I decide to go for Liquidation. Okay, this is Dragon Poison, just Hurricane. And it also lets us get, you know, Hurricanes out. 
Okay, a poison gem. But you should have gone for protect. Uh, so we are gonna protect, uh, not that it's gonna save us uh, from surviving a sludge wave, but. Uh, but you never know, if he misses its sludge wave, oh, which it didn't, but if, then that would have been good, okay. So if I were to lose here, what I would do is that we would produce Protect on the first turn, but yeah, this also allows me to come in here and Zen Headbutt. Hurrah, Duplin got a kill! Uh, let's see, superior. Okay, should have gone for cross poison. Guess I know what you are. You are the dreaded Leaf Storm. Uh, so Brandon. Yeah, you're gonna use Leaf Storm, and then you're gonna get even stronger. Special tag us up. And life orb, okay. Uh, just hurricane, we need to kill you. Quick. So there we go. And I do think what I will do after I defeat a Drake, I'm probably gonna give all my Pokemon... Um, what's it called? Rare candies, so that against the... The what's called the the number one. Uh, okay, more speed and white herb. Okay, that's not good. Now, even though, I mean, the clean is probably faster. So let's go for send. Nope. Okay, I thought maybe with the choice scarf, the clean would be faster. Oh, but the plane killed. Okay, nice. So maybe Ice Punch would have been better than uh, what I decided to go with. Probably gonna use the Dragon Claw, right? So I actually do think sending a Lazul is good. Okay, Outrage, damn. Which could be fine if Lazul survived, damn. Alright. I think I fucked up there. I should have sacrificed Malalu. Hmm, do I want to sacrifice Malalu now? I mean, we could send Duplin in, get a strong liquidation. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. A very strong liquidation here. Clean us out. You are confused, which is fine. Then we can send a Victor David, the can facade. Boom. I mean, it's two versus two now, right? Let's see. Yeah. Oh god, Como. Oh, you know, we should one shot it with Brave Bird. Uh, so it isn't actually a problem. Yeah, I think we got this. But sadly, we're not gonna have a burned Victor David at the end. Maybe, you know what, no, no, I think we are going to. I think if I want to win this, I need to switch out here to Balalu. How did that double edge hit me? Oh, is it Aerialite? Ah, all right. So he gets plus. Uh, so please for sort kill. Nice. All right. So that was the way to win. I had to switch out so that we don't get intimidated. I was thinking we would get like a shadow sneak off, uh, but we didn't need that damage. All right. Holy shit. Okay, that was an intense battle, actually. 
Uh, and before the the what's it called the master, the champion, we're gonna get everyone up to level 100. Because I want all our Pokemon to be at level 100 against, you know, the champion. And I also want the champion's Pokemon to be level 100. To be that, you know, this is the end. I don't know if I'm gonna do uh, post-game stuff. I don't think so. I think for me, like, I think I'm pretty happy just letting this be, you know, like... My goal was to become the champion using bird type Pokemon and well the first goal was to become the best bird type trainer. And we are, we defeated Winona. And the second goal was to, you know, become the champion using bird types. And we're doing that as well. And, I mean, Mega Lazul is probably better against uh, the champion. And I am actually pretty gl uh, I quite like the Flying Gem Brandon. Like, I think it does very well. Uh, so let's see. I don't think, yeah, no, don't need to give any Muleppas to anyone. Okay, save. We'll just save right here. Who would I want to start off with? You know, we're gonna start off with Balalu. And I'm actually happy. Let Duplin have the choice scarf. To let Duplin become like a revenge killer, kind of like how Swallow is. Yeah, that's fine, let's go. Welcome. That incident in Sutopolis City. You know what I should do? I should I should have switched Lazul's uh, ability to Cloud9. So that Lazul this removes weather effects, because obviously he's gonna use rain, right? It's gonna be like a rain setter and stuff, yeah. I'll just leaf blade. Vika Volt. Okay. That is interesting. Well, I think just leaf blading again is the good, is the right thing to do. Damn. We didn't kill. And we got confused. Okay, so he is at Latios. What the fuck is going on? Okay. Oh man, oh god. I mean, I think I need Balalu. Uh, I think Sembo might be the one we want to sack. Because I don't really want... Oh, I use Psyshock, so... Sembo tanks that the best. Just protect. Draco Meteor? Thunder, yeah. It's because of stuff like that, I don't think we want Sembo. So you could be good to start off with Sembo, actually. We start off with Sembo. And we'll let the symbol stay in until it dies. Uh, let's see. Are we gonna revenge kill that? I do think Brandon's Hurricane is probably the strongest move we have. I don't think Balalu is faster. Yeah, Duplin. Now we're sending in Duplin, yeah. And we're going for the cross poison, actually, yeah. The 
because I mean we have a chance to poison. You know, it's neutral effective. And we have a high crit chance with it. So if we got ah damn, ah, that's unlucky. If we got that crit, then you know we would have killed there. So Dupleen could actually take out uh, that Pokemon. So that's something to remember. Okay, Balalu, you're up. Are you gonna switch? Yeah, okay, you switched. I wasn't sure, so I went for the like the safe attack. Oh, but you probably swift swim. Yeah, so. And I do think I need. No, oh, do I need the Lalu? Probably not. I'm gonna say no. Okay, Shell Bell. Then I'm sending in Victor David. That I hope is still fast. Bam, no. Okay, Victor David is, still, is not faster. I, I was hoping that even with, you know, that boost to its speed, that we would be faster. Uh, but we were not. So Lazul, Mega, and Dragon Dance. We have to hope that we can, you know, take these decently well. Okay, yeah, that is actually decent. Dragon Dance. And I'm gonna have to do another drag. Okay, after one Dragon Dance, we're faster. Okay. Oh god, but you got a crit. That fucks us a bit. I don't have to roost. God. And now we're playing with... I hope I don't get frozen or critted. If, if we don't get frozen or critted, we have a chance of winning this. With Lazul. Uh, but that's a big F. Oh god, that's a crit. Getting a crit there is... Okay, I would rather them get a crit when I have a lot of HP like that, than get frozen. Because being frozen is a 100%. Okay, another crit. Good, good. Just keep critting. <laughs> like, of course, 100% chance to crit. To dragon dance because we need to get a lot of dragon dances oh he has quiver dance but that probably tells me that he no longer has any ice beams otherwise he would use ice beam right Whew, let's roost once Okay, it's plus three now. Yeah, we're going all out. We're going all out on this. Let's see. Oh no, Scald. Please don't burn me. Fuck. Alright, we lost. We lost. God damn it. Ah, fuck. Alright. Oh man, I thought uh, if it had gig if it was Giga Drain or maybe Surf, we could have won, but because it's Scald, we lose. And another crit. Whisk Cash. I mean, fuck. Oh, 
Oh, let's try and roost up, see what happens, fuck. Earthquake, yeah. Okay. Off the burn. We're gaining, we're gaining HP. But if he crits, obviously. <coughs> God, so this is like a stall war right here. Um. We only have five more roosts. Just keep roosting. Because if he didn't have scold, I could have gotten at least one cotton guard. Which would have, you know, helped a lot. Alright, that's it. I think I have to try and go for the kill. Body slam go. Please paralyze, please paralyze. Ah, Lumberry. Alright, well, shit. Alright. Brandon, can you do it? <laughs> I don't think so, but... Uh, let's hope. No! Oh, why did I use Hurricane? I just wasted my strongest attack. I completely forgot you had Fine Gem. Oh man, if we lose and it's very close, then it's because I did that. Okay, Hurricane. Yeah, that Hurricane with the Flying Gem might have killed Waylord. Uh, might have. At least it would have made it a 100% to hit KO. Oh, and here comes the Mega. Let's see how you look. Ah, you look pretty okay. I don't know if you're pure water or if you're water uh, scald. Ah, damn. Alright. Hmm. Huh. That was very close. And that was with me, you know, fucking up sometimes. Uh, let's see. Leftover, Salt Vest, Terry Eye, blah blah blah, Fine Gem. Right, yeah. So, I'm gonna start off with Waylord. I don't know, I still feel like starting off with Balalu probably is the best thing to do. Um, and just hope that we get lucky. And I guess I could start off with Victor David. Go for a facade. You know, we're gonna try that. And then I'm actually going to do what I said. Let's go for a ability patch on Lazul to Cloud9. That means when Lazul is in, they are not going to get, you know, rain boost. Which would help against, you know, Ludicolo. Okay, let's try this. Is he still gonna switch? Um, or is he going to, you know, keep Waylord in now? Let's see, facade. Okay, he keeps it in if I use Victor David. Holy shit! Alright. Well, that is the right thing to do then. Victor David one shots it. Here comes Vika Volt. We're gonna one shot Vika Volt then as well. I mean, what the fuck? <laughs> Was the answer to this whole thing just just start off with Victor David and use facade? What the fuck? <laughs> All right, huh? 
Ludicolo. I don't think Victor Davis was faster than Ludicolo though. Um, so against you, we're gonna sacrifice Sembo. Well, it might not even be a sacrifice, you know what? Sembo use Hurricane. I mean, was it this thing this whole time? The only thing I needed to do was like s switch who I start off with. Just protect. And then he's gonna use Kicker Drain. And then we can send in Balalu against that. Because Balalu is not gonna take in. Oh, well, that was a crit. Jesus, okay. I don't know. Well, we were spiritual. Leaf Blade, just Leaf Blade. We're gonna survive a nice beam. Go, good job. Wish Cash is gonna get destroyed by Leaf Blade. And I know you don't have you have that barrier to make it so that when you get less HP, your speed goes up. So you don't have to worry about you not taking super effective damage from Leaf Blade. And we won. Um, obviously the MVP was Victor David. Um, I mean, in this champion battle, that is, Victor David was the MVP. I, the champion, fall in defeat. I will say, I like that he's not a pure water type, kind of like how Juan was. Because one thing I really didn't like about Emerald thing is that basically I had two, like a water type gym leader. And a water type elite and not a water type champion and then an ice type elite four that uses uh, like five out of her six pokemon were like water types water ice types you know uh so they did really i think they did a really good job with making the elite four look unique the champion is very unique he has fucking ladios for some reason um <laughs> I already defeated the champion, so no need for advice. I'm gonna save just in case something happens. Yes, I did it. You're using 617 Pokemon and we caught 60, yeah. <laughs> this, through this door, only champions are allowed, alright, May? When I become the official champion, I'll let you in. Because I really like how you look, May. Alright, saving, don't turn off the power. Victor David, Balalu, Azul, Duplin, Brandon, and Sembo. So, overall, in this episode, I would say Lazul is probably the MVP, especially with the first sweep there. And then at the end, Victor David. Oh, I think everyone did something right because against Drake, Duplin did really well. You know, coming in, knocking out, and doing damage. Oh, and they're showing like all the Pokemon I've had here. I think. And, I mean, obviously, Sembo, just the tankiness of Sembo, the switching ends. Yeah, I think everyone got a lot of, like, we didn't, we didn't see anything from Victor David in the first four gym matches. And that was because, you know, Victor David was, well, Victor David actually did save us against Drake Salamance. Uh, but other than that... 
Victor David really didn't do much. Uh, but that was because Victor David was saving his energy for, you know, the champion. But, yeah, this was actually very fun. And I have decided now that I'm not going to do post-game. Uh, the end. You, uh, Inclement Emerald, very fun. A very, very good uh, ROM hack modification. I don't know what, what you would call this. I'm just going to call it mod. Uh, well, let's say ROM hack, whatever. Um, very fun. Let's see, what, has, what are they saying? Oh yeah, they're talking about me becoming champion. Oh no, it's just something else. Hello dad. Alright. Mr. Briny. The SS ticket. Okay, it is still recording. I was like, oh god, I got like a panic attack. And I'm probably not gonna do, like, I'm, I don't know when the next Pokemon Let's Play is gonna happen. Um, I do have a ROM in mind. It's called, like, it's set in Johto. It's, it's like a... It's, it's Johto ROM hack, but it's set in like a special timeline. It's a di completely different timeline. It's like a few years after the reg regular Johto games. And that looks really, really cool. So I think I might do that uh, in the future. And like for my next one, I might do something like that. And then... When I do that, I might do something like cat and dogs, or like just plant Pokemon. In my mind, those are the two that are in my mind now. C cats and dogs, or plants. Um, I haven't decided yet. Thank you for watching and thanks to the people, you know, who got their names in. Um, I mean, especially, I mean, especially thanks for the people, especially you who have watched. You know, I read the comments on these. Um, ugh, shut the fuck up. I want to go to, I want to go and visit my PC. Uh... Let's just do it in Old Dale Town. Because I want to look at my Pokemon. Probably for the last time. Uh, Cosmog with a Lucky Egg. <coughs> I mean, we did get, I think, six names in. Like, six different comments, which actually fit in perfectly with the main squad, you know. Victor David, Balalu, Lazul, blah blah blah. If I would have gotten more, I probably would have switched up the teams a bit more when it comes to important battles. So I would say, okay, one gym, this team. Another gym, this team. Um, but instead, what I decided to do is that I have, you know, the main team. And then, just for some fun and diversity in the just routes for nothing special is going to happen. It's just a bunch of random trainers. I decided to use, you know, other teams just to get some something interesting, you know. And well, my favorite was this main team right here, and my second favorite team was probably the Audino team. I actually, had a lot of fun with these guys. A lot of birds. But was there a Pokemon that really, like, wow, surprised me? 
Well, Victor Davis surprised me a lot, but I've already I've always known that you're not. Facade guts swallow that is burnt for I've never used it with life orb, but with life orb, holy shit, a monster. Uh, but I always liked Swallow. Oh god, come on. Decidui though. Balalu. I it's a Pokemon I never really cared for in Sun and Moon. Um I always tend to go for either Poplio, and then I do that once, and then when I play Sun and Moon, I never use the starters since I don't really care for the starters. Or I sometimes use the starters, but I always go to level to Tora Cat. I never evolve it to the last evolution. I keep it as you know the quadruped. Is that what you call? Like, like I don't like Incineroar. Incineroar. Like I don't like how it looks. But I, even though I like how this Pokemon looks, never really cared for it. I mean, I love Ho uh, Hoot Hoot. Yeah, I love Hoot Hoot as well, but. The first evolution of this, I really like how it looks. And I like Grass Ghost, ah, that's interesting, but eh, I don't really care for it. But now when when this has tinted lens, look, like, that is actually pretty cool. Uh, with the Assault Vest, Palalo did great. It kind of like gave me new appreciation for the Sidui. Uh... I mean, Pelipper, as I've already known, Pelipper is great. It's a great Pokemon. Brandon, Pidgeot. I mean, I've used Pidgeot a lot uh, when I, you know, in the earlier games. Like when I was little, I always used a Pidgeotto. And I kind of wish we would have been able to use contests because I would have used, you know, Brandon for contests as, you know, shiny Pokemon, but. Didn't happen. If there's one Pokemon that I was a little bit disappointed in, it was Golduck, sadly. And it might have to do with my spreadsheet here. Maybe if I would have gone full attack, like instead of 85 HP, I just put all of that into attack. And then. Max. Yeah, I just go max attack and speed. Maybe that would have been better. I will say, I kind of liked Duplin a little bit more when I gave you the choice scarf here at the end. I think that helps uh, a lot with some of you know, the weaknesses that you might have, but mm, I don't know. I think it also has to do with... I think Golduck has a better special side to him, you know, with the attacks that Golduck can learn in special side. And with me being like, I really want to run a physical Golduck because I saw a tough class increases all our damage by contact moves. Like all our moves here go get a 30% bonus damage. Um, if I were to do this team over again, I mean, I would probably change that. I would go a special Golduck instead, even though I do think it can. Think about just raw damage. I think this physical probably does more damage because of the tough class. But then you think about the moves that he learns, you know, in the special side. You know, you get you can get surf or scald. Instead of set headbutt, you get psychic. Aqua jet, I'll probably keep. And then whatever. Like, there's tons of good special moves. Um, I actually really liked Pidgeot more. Uh, like I think, like putting the flying gem ended up really, really good. Maybe even better than going for the mega. Um, so I think. I mean, during the normal game, I think it was fun having both those mega options, so that we switch between them. But then, during the actual, like, Elite Four and all that, I do think the Flying Gem and Brandon was really good. Uh, thank you guys for watching again, and goodbye.